And thank you for joining us on The World Now on TVC News. We'll begin in the Republic of Nigeria, where head of the Nigerian Presidential Guard, Abdurrahmane Chiani, has been named head of a transitional government in the West African state, two days after his unit overthrew the democratically elected leadership of Mohamed Bazoum. The announcement was made on Friday on state-run television. That 62-year-old general who was drafted to lead the elite unit in 2015 is from Niger's western region of Tilaberi, a main recruitment area for the army. He remains a close ally of former President Mohamedou Isufu, the politician who led the country until 2021. General Chiani led the resistance to a thwarted coup attempt in March 2021 when a military unit tried to seize the presidential palace days before Mr. Bazoum, who had just been elected, was due to be sworn in as president. Colonel Amadou Abdurrahmani, spokesperson of the Nigerian army, said on state TV on Wednesday that security forces had decided to, quote, put an end to the regime that you know due to the deteriorating security situation and bad governance, end quote. Colonel Abdurrahmani said Niger's borders are closed, a nationwide curfew declared, and all institutions of the republic are suspended. The soldiers warned against any foreign intervention, adding that they will respect President Bazoum's well-being. Now, hours after, a defiant Bazoum had said the country's had won gains in establishing democracy would be protected. The coup is the fifth successful one in the landlocked state since it gained independence from France. But it was also the fifth in West Africa in three years, resurrecting the Monica coup belt for the region amid fears of implications for the security of the Greater Sahel, one of the world's most unstable areas in recent years.